In today's video, I want to talk about running gait. Four main tips for you today. One is going to be what your arm should be doing. Ideally, you want to be at anywhere from 90 degrees to 70 degrees. Second, there's a center line right here through your body. Your hands should not cross this center line. This is too much. You want it to be more so like this. From here, posture. How should my shoulders be? What you can do to posture check, put your arms down to your side, bring them straight out and straight up. Now drop the arms and where your shoulders are is where you should be. The last thing is cadence. I would recommend downloading some type of metronome app and have it running and doing it on the tread. Once you've got these four tips down, now the final thing, foot strike. Where is my foot supposed to be striking the ground? I've always heard that heel is bad and that forefoot is more efficient, but distributing the weight over your foot and pace really depends on it. Midfoot is typically going to distribute the weight over. You're near the forefoot, you're near the heel. You don't wanna change your gait all at once. It's gonna be more so working on it over time, making sure that you're working on the cadence. The way I would suggest working on your foot strike and all this stuff working together is focus on where your foot's contacting the ground and just make the contact slightly different. Then you can roll four, forefoot without actually presenting a lot more weight on different spots. So wherever you're running, get into that groove and slowly make the contact start moving to a slight different position. It's gonna change overall. I would highly recommend running in grass. It's gonna reduce impact and it's gonna promote you to pick your feet up higher, which is gonna promote better posture. Running in grass is great with shoes, but running in grass without shoes, even better. I know what you're thinking. I don't know of any grass or I don't want to run barefoot. And I'm not saying run for a long time. Maybe go find an intramural field somewhere without a lot of rocks and holes. Do your run. Then afterwards, take your shoes off and start running in the grass. Your feet are very sensitive on the bottom. They're sensitive for a reason. You're gonna feel the grass on the bottom of your foot where you're first making contact. You'll notice if it's hitting your heel every time first, you're gonna know this. If it's hitting your forefoot and you can slowly start changing the position, you'll notice that as you go barefoot, you're naturally gonna move more forefoot. It's gonna make you more aware of your foot strike. Highly recommended to do. Don't overdo it, don't hurt yourself. The last thing, core work. The stronger your core is and the more it can endure, the longer your posture and running form will stay at that injury-free efficiency point. So if you've ever seen these marathon runners or if you've ever ran for a longer period of time than you wanted to, you'll notice that your form just gets blown out of the window. You're, you're basically trying to make each last step at any cost. The stronger your core is, the more it will hold your cadence and your gait, everything in more of a straight and uniform line. Core is super important. It's when your form gets out of alignment whenever you become fatigued that injury or the risk of injury is increased substantially. Core work is huge. All right. Recap of what we've done. Posture. Arm placement. Center line rule. Cadence. 170 to 180. 180 actually being typically the best. We're working on our core. We're doing work in the grass and even with your bare feet. If you like this video, make sure that you comment, tell me how it's gone. Have a nice day.